It's fast. It's fun. It's easy. It's elegant. It's simple. It's effective. Figure it out. Please greet our presidential candidate, Mr. Vermin Supreme. Entertainment, the pranksterism, the the uh, the aspect of bringing humor as, as a weapon, as an, uh, an edge, a wedge to uh, to address serious issues, I, I think has become uh, more and more important and more appreciated by the people. Um, I think there's been a certain softening up for it uh, in the corporate comedy sphere, The Daily Show, Colbert, etc. Um, but I think there's certainly a lot of room for uh, more radical uh, humor to uh, to affect change. As a fat person. Um Every time that I perform, to me it is a political act. I'm not someone that uh, is considered beautiful by the, you know, by the general public. I'm judged on a daily basis. I have uh, strangers make very rude comments to me on a regular basis. For me to go on the stage is an act of defiance against culture and to say that this is fat, so fuck you. She's built as big as a battleship. Davy says he'd have to make two trips. Let her go ride with the other guys. His dinghy's no good for a gal that size. Entertainment is critical in creating an innovative and um, successful movement. Um, I think about the 60s and how many entertainers and cultural workers were present um, in the civil rights movement in the Harlem Renaissance. We had poets, we had um, singers, we had athletes. Um, there, there are just, there's so much in, in our entertainment in, our, in the way that we connect with each other. The fact that it's silly or goofy or stupid is forgettable. But what's not forgettable is the fact that you're talking about serious, important issues that matter to people. Drawing spectacle is important to that. Like with the Yes Men, it's all about delivering a story that the media has to cover. And if they have to cover it, then they have to cover the issue you're talking about. People spearheading the current movement have been doing this work for 20 or 30 years. It's just that maybe a way to look at it is that by now, we just sort of like cracked a way to get more attention to it. So a way to look at a lot of the events happening with Occupy Wall Street and a lot of things like that is not so much that things have changed, except that people are just paying more attention to it because they broke through like the media sphere or whatever you want to call it. Finally, this year, uh, the social media thing uh, has really blown up and made me crazy super famous on the internet world. Um, and the, the beautiful thing about it is that uh, because I've been prevent, uh, presenting it uh, in a very facetious fashion, uh, that the people who seem to really uh, like it, strat I mean, it, it, it spreads across the political spectrum. I mean, I have newfound fans on the far right and the far left and, and everywhere in between. They're not gonna cover it if it's just a bunch of people standing around being like, oh, we want you to pay attention to this issue that you've all forgotten, that the media has forgotten that happened 10 years ago. You have to give them something that's sensational and kind of like subvert the media format by giving them something that they are compelled to pay attention to. One of the things that we talk about in the burlesque community is um, that what we're both doing is taking femininity times 500 and um, putting that on the stage. You know, but for burlesque, it's a celebration of, of the female form. Um, you know, one of the things that a lot of women find very liberating about going to burlesque shows is that you see women of all shapes, sizes, um, imperfections, perfections. What I have found is that irregardless of what party I might be running in, uh, sometimes I've run Democrat, sometimes I've run Republican, inevitably the other party will take that cheap shot. Oh, oh they're all vermin. And of course, you know, that is the point, but they're simply not extending it to include their own party. And um, so, you know, the issues that I'm raising, um, mandatory toothbrushing laws, secret dental police, uh, dental re-education centers, um, you know, I, I think they're all pretty relevant, really. My name is Vermin, my name is Vermin, my name is Vermin, Vermin, Vermin Supreme. Okay, thanks very much for coming out today. Oh, one, one more thing. Um, uh, uh, 
Jesus told me to uh, make Randall Terry gay with magic. <laughs> There's been a long lull, I think, in terms of, of, of effective activism, in terms of changing um, the overall consumer, the shift from being citizens to consumers. Um, and and um, I'm, I'm quite hopeful that, that, you know, this past year or two has sort of marked a watershed in terms of, of things turning around. Um, I'd be curious to see what, you, what the rest of you guys think. The concept of visionary organizing is how do you step away from protest organizing? It's, we all understand that there are so many issues that um, need to be addressed, but I think people are beginning to talk about um, visionary organizing, and it's a concept that uh, very... Um, well-respected, long-time, almost 100-year-old activist, Grace Lee Boggs, who's based in, in Detroit, um, talks about trying to create, um, I think it, basically the gist of it is delegitimizing institutions by creating new ones. It's comparable to things like creating social um, cooperative structures and like self-sustainable structures within capitalism like the f more important things like food and shelter and those structures. But art is also a structure that we can like create our own, our own narratives within capitalism. Like the only movies we watch don't have to be Hollywood movies. One thing that I've developed is sort of this uh, psyops uh, operation in the streets and demonstration environments between uh, protesters and, and in between police and often there's this vacuum and I try and fill this vacuum. Uh, through humor, but I also find that it's very important for me to be able to humanize the police officers uh, under the riot gear to the protesters and humanize the protesters to the police. I approve this message. My name is Bernie Bernie, just my name is Bernie. My name is Bernie, my name is Bernie, my name is Bernie, my name is Bernie.